Mm -hmm. mm. It's the Morning Cryptos. Let's see what's going on. It is January 25th. My name is Mark Shepard, and uh, let's see what's going on in the news, the world of cryptos, and with some charts, and let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Start the music. Okay, well, it is, what day is it today? Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Wow. Anyway, it's been kind of a quiet week here in Lake Wobegon. A <laughs> uh, little bit a uh, little bit of quietness, but uh, things seem to be kind of hanging in, which is good. Uh, I think it's okay. I think we're going to be okay. Um, and here Bitcoin has settled down on the... Uh, the hundred day average and um, <clears throat> that's not a bad thing I think it's it's probably a good thing uh, so uh, let's look at the news uh, quickly and see if there's come on my computer is a little slow today I'll probably have to reboot it uh, let's hit refresh see if that can happen oh yeah eleven thousand two hundred fifty one dollars uh, stellar lumen uh, Little news about Stellar Lumens looking like a breakout. Uh, and why are potential forks not accounted in the Bitcoin futures price? Okay. How to beat the Bitcoin bear. Oh, okay. Uh, rapper 50 Cent. 50 Cent is now a Bitcoin millionaire. Uh, wow. He's, he accepts Bitcoin for his 2014 Animal Ambition album. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to start taking Bitcoin too. And Bitcoin Cash. And Dash. And Litecoin. And Ethereum. <laughs> Alright, okay, so that's, that's, I don't know, maybe Bitcoin news. How about news? Bitcoin news. Anything exciting? 50 cent. 50 cent. Accidentally made 8 million. 50 cent. Teenage Bitcoin Millionaire has some crucial advice for young investors. Oh. Okay. What the FUD? Bitcoin market beset by January woes. Okay. It's all good. All right, right. All right. So let's just look at it real quick, people. Um, these moving averages are something that I started learning here in January. And uh, I've just been using them every day. Uh, I had some other tools as well, but I really, I, I just have to simplify. Um, I think they're helpful. Um, but it's interesting because the 25-day average has just dipped below the 50-day average. But uh, I don't know. I think I think we're, uh, we're hanging in. The, the energy seems to be gone. <clears throat> there does not seem to be a lot of energy in the market. So let's just take a peek on the one hour chart see if there's anything we can glean <clears throat> interesting where all of the averages crossed right there and then it lifted boom interesting now it looks like we have a lot of the averages not necessarily crossing but coming somewhat together here I don't know what that means but man the colors are pretty <laughs> <laughs> pretty colors uh, uh, yeah okay well I hope that was educational let's <laughs> it's early it's only 6 56 a.m. it's starting to get a little lighter out though and uh, let's grind through these Bitcoin cash what's it doing it seems to be hanging on it also is tucked into the 100-day average, and uh, this chart, we don't have a 200-day average because it's not that old. Um, so, yeah, so this is not, you know, they keep talking about crashes and stuff, but this is like normal movement. It did catch me by surprise because I'm a newbie, right? But for the old hands, they're like, oh, yeah, this is normal. It's normal. 
Uh, but whenever you hear about it in the press, particularly the mainstream press, it's like, oh my God, it's the end of all, it's the end of the world today because Bitcoin is down or whatever. So anyway, Bitcoin gold people, there's something about this chart that I like. Notice there we had a pump and a dump. We had a pump and then a dump. We had a pump and a dump and do you notice these peaks are getting farther apart and a little bit lower but the damn thing just keeps kind of staying on the same level so not a bad place if you want to do some range trading you have one two three four tops here and a pattern that if you bought here today at 181 you could sell at 350 or 330 or 300 you know, because, but it's going to take a little while. It seems like there's more space between the peaks. So it looks like you have some time. That's my opinion. It's just an opinion. Just what I think. It's a free country. It used to be anyway. Free speech, people. You don't have to take my advice because I'm not giving advice. <laughs> All right. I love all those disclaimers. Got to have disclaimers because nobody wants to be sued for giving sound advice. <laughs> that some idiot doesn't follow <laughs> correctly, right? And we're all idiots. That's the bottom line is we're all fools. We're walking around. We're primates, people. We're monkeys. <laughs> all right, Dash. All right, I like Dash. I think Dash is okay. I think it's a good level. It's definitely more realistic for Dash at 700, seven, you know, seven or 800 than 1,600. Um and we'll see what happens. Uh, EOS. EOS still just chugging along, baby. Still above the 25-day average. And looks like it wants to go higher. And, you know, it hasn't even launched. EOS doesn't even launch till June, people. But they're cranking on it. They're working on it. They're already testing it. They're ahead of schedule. They're, they got a great team. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. It's a sound project. It's one of my long-term holds. And I'm I'm hanging on. It is one of the few currencies I own that has literally just hung in there. No problem. Uh, Ethereum, down a little bit, but also not horribly down. It's looking like it has some life in it. And IOTA. I'm starting to think that IOTA might be at a buy spot if if it can maintain you know kind of this level at 240 243.037083 <laughs> um, might not be a bad time to get some more iota but we have to see because I think we could still have some dribbling off action here in this market <laughs> dribbling off action that's a technical term Litecoin same deal I think it's much more reasonably priced and uh, still a good currency and still affordable and still works better than Bitcoin however it is not a third generation project uh, and I don't know really what Charlie Lee and his team if there is a team are doing with Litecoin are they improving it you never hear much about it and that's one of the reasons Litecoin is only worth 178 because no one talks about it it's just this quiet little coin the quiet little coin that could and I think that's okay and that's probably what Charlie Lee wants because if you've ever seen an interview with him he is one of the most delightfully humble human beings um, and uh, I think that's refreshing anyway Neo looks like Neo is just hanging hanging tough looking good whatever when we say go Looking good, too. Um, I was thinking about getting more Omise Go, but I'm going to hang on for a little bit. Uh, if it does come back down or comes down to the 100-day uh, average, that might be a better entry point for me if it does. Um, not that I have any. I don't have my war chest built yet, so I really don't have anything to buy these with. But... Um, back to kind of dollar cost averaging a little bit every week 
Um, but quantum just snug it up to the uh, 50 day average. So that to me is pretty good support. And uh, I think quantum is a good price, 39. Um, I'm in a little bit higher at 50. Uh, but we'll see. We might have more dribbling off, but I don't, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know. I get the feeling quantum is holding. Uh, Monero, just look at all these bottoms. Boom, boom, ba -do 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 -ba -do -ba -do -ba boom, all kind of on the same shelf here. Uh, and quite well above the 100 day average. So, not thinking that's really a great time to buy. We'd, I wouldn't mind Monero coming back a little bit more. Uh, Ripple, <coughs> we shall see. I want a sideways trading range on Ripple. I want to see it. Let me go to the one hour. Um, oops, I'm on the one day. Let's go to the one hour. <coughs> Excuse me. This is kind of what I want to see on the one day chart. I want to see, I mean, you could definitely range trade this. Although right now it seems like it's kind of tightening down. So, and it is below the 200 hour. It's below the 25 hour. It's below the 50 hour and it's below the 100 hour. I think those are the correct colors and numbers. Um, on the one hour chart, not bad. Not bad. Um, thinking about Ripple, but I want to watch it a little bit longer. Hopefully, I think we have some time. I'm really trying to be patient this time and trying to just go, okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not jumping on any of these unless they look like they're really ready to pop. Zcash um, on the one hour chart seems to be pretty low. Let me just go back to one day here. See, Zcash is really, it's come down to the, uh, the 100 day almost. I don't know. I think I think it needs to come down farther. I mean, if I'm just looking at this and going, okay, here's here's one trend line that I can just visually kind of connect. You know, let's maybe go back here. It's definitely above, right? You know, it just it doesn't it doesn't seem like that's the trend. You know, it's like we just had this crazy fucking freaking bubble so I just I think Zcash <coughs> it's gonna come down to this line because we did on the on the big drop day before Christmas I watch, I just sat and watched this chart as it went down and I was like wow this is what they mean by kind of a flash crash and I was like I could buy right here but I chose to buy Bitcoin gold instead right and I, I could have really had a ride so Sometimes when you see these flash crashes, like to me, that's almost the real price, you know, because it came down to its past, serious past support. And that's like a little honesty that just got injected into the market. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Um, my, my big project, my big long-term hold is Cardano. And uh, I think at any price here, it's a good buy. That's that's my opinion. Um, I'm in at a dollar. I'm in at seventy five. <laughs> I'm in at eighty six. Um, and I think we're gonna look back in a year and go, oh yeah, remember when Cardano was only a dollar? There's some currencies that when they move, they never come back, like Ethereum. Once it really made its move, you know, from two dollars or to whatever, it never seriously came back. Right, so I kind of have a feeling Cardano is going to be that way. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm right. You know, and uh, I highly recommend you watch some of Charles Hoskinson's interviews. He interviews really well, and he's thorough, and he explains shit well. But he doesn't just gloss over stuff. Uh, and when you hear him talk, there's like hope. Like, wow, okay, we might actually be able 
to pull this off as a species, right? I think that's helpful. I don't know. So that's where I am. And yesterday I gave you guys a big plug for the basic attention token. Um, not such a so much a price plug, but this is something useful. This is something that has already made my life better because I no longer have to suffer through ads because I use the Brave browser. And the Brave browser is created by the guys that created Mozilla Firefox. And uh, so they know what they're doing there. And it's like they have a clean a clean sheet and they've gone at it. And uh, I, I've really enjoyed using the Brave browser. It's a lot faster. Uh, it protects you from a lot of ad wear. And um, I think the basic attention token, obviously it would have been better to buy it down here when it dropped. Um, I also think it's not a bad time fundamentally to get in. Price chart wise, maybe not. But um, the cool thing is, is even though we had this drop, <clears throat> You know, you can almost make the connection that it's on this rise, and it just got interrupted by January, and it could go right back to its rise. But now it's actually kind of below it. So that's that's just part of why I'm kind of I'm pretty strong on basic attention token, um, and I'm finding that you know I sold a lot of it at a really good profit. Um, I still have just a few of them, but once I'm back in the game. I would definitely consider the basic attention token will be a significant part of my portfolio, probably a long-term, long-term hold. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. That's all I got, people. That's all I got. I got a lot of other stuff, but not on this subject. <laughs> mm. And I am working on editing a concert that I did a year ago. And that is really the whole reason that I got into crypto is because I had no money and I wanted to pay my son to edit this video concert because he and his crew came and videotaped it in uh, November 19th, 2016. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, it was really my dream band, 10 of the most amazing musicians that I've ever played with. And uh, I just didn't have the money to edit it. And so I was like, I got to find some way to make more money without, uh, you know, without compromising my time, my values, my energy, whatever. Uh, and so I was like, okay, well, the first thing I have to do in order to make more money is to really explore some of my limiting beliefs about money. So I created a whole course as I was clearing my own limiting beliefs about money, which you can find at honesthypnosis.com. Uh, and then I started watching documentaries and doing research. What is money, right? And I, I stumbled upon uh, Mike Mahoney's, um, is it Mike Mahoney or Mike Maloney? Anyway, his, his program on YouTube, The Secrets, The Hidden Secrets of Money. Check that out. Uh, and I think I have a link below anyway. The Hidden Secrets of Money. I highly recommend you watch that. Uh, and I just, it opened my eyes to the house of cards that is our financial system. And I got pretty beat up in the 2008 crash. Uh, I ended up being homeless. Uh, so I've been down to the bottom financially and more than once. Um, and I was like, okay, what is the deal with this money thing? What is it about money? What are my unconscious beliefs and patterns and childhood crap around money. So I started clearing a lot of that stuff and then in the same process started hearing about Bitcoin. And I was like, you know what? I've never been able to save, but if I took $20 a day and just automated it at Coinbase, just 20 bucks a day and bought Bitcoin every day for 20 bucks, when it goes down, I'll buy more. And when it goes up, I'll just buy less. It'll just protect me. And that to me, I think is one of the best trading techniques that you can do to get started. And Kind of a year later, I'm like, you know what? We're kind of at a quiet spot right now. Maybe it's a good time to go back to buying $20 a day at Coinbase of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and possibly Bitcoin Cash. So that's kind of where I am at the moment. And I highly suggest that um, you guys might want to check that out because it's the concept. It's an ancient concept that shows up in a lot of 
self-help books. And ultimately, it's called Pay Yourself First. Pay Yourself First. Take 10% off the top of whatever you earn, whether it's in fiat or crypto, and find a way to reinvest that in yourself in a way that grows, right? And it could be, for me, taking 10% and investing it in a new computer, right? So that I can do my editing better, right? Or it may be investing in a course that you take that where you learn something that you just really can't learn anywhere else, right? Or maybe you take that 10% and invest it in, uh, you know, basic attention token or whatever it is. The idea being that you have you have a certain amount of energy at your disposal. We all do, and we all waste a lot of it. What if, what if you could capture just a small percentage of your excess and turn it to your long-term benefit? So that's the thought for today, and uh, sticking with it. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and ring that little bell so you get notifications and I want to thank you guys for all your comments, and a couple of you have been asking about doing some live uh, live stuff and question and answer kind of things, and uh, I've heard your requests, and I really appreciate it. I've got to figure out how to do it in a way, and I think maybe I need a new computer to do it because I just, I don't either have enough RAM or something's going on with this thing. Um, and so I'm, I'm looking into getting, a, you know, a, a kind of a state-of-the-art uh, grooviness computer that I can do video editing on and do more live programming with so it's not glitchy and uh, so I'm working on all that and uh, that's it for today I love you guys I appreciate it very much your time and attention is extremely valuable thank you for investing it in me and hopefully it has supported you in some small way and I appreciate you very much thanks so much thank you thank you Thank you. Filled with gratitude right now. By the way, gratitude's a really good thing to get into. We'll talk about that another time. But I'm grateful, very, very grateful for your presence here. And let's start the music.